Just F it all. I'm Laura and welcome back to my channel where I talk about all things weight loss, mental health, and take you along on my 200 pound weight loss journey. So welcome to what I'm going to call check-in number 14 because I mean it's not technically a weigh-in so at least not for the time being. And I'm going to be honest with you guys, I have been struggling like captain of the struggle train and it is time for a reset, just saying. So the last like week or two have just been extremely, extremely difficult. Like not this past week, but the week before that, I had already started like struggling when it was coming to working out. Like I was doing my 15 minute deck the pounds um, every night, but I wasn't doing like my, like the bulk of my workout, which is I usually do like the walk away the pounds. Um, and then this past week, it became not only my exercising, but my diet that just was crap. And I'm not gonna lie to you guys, like I may or may not have binged a little, or a lot. <laughs> um, here's the thing, all of the coping skills that I have shared with you guys work for me. Like every single one of them, they work for me, and I know that they work for me, but this past week especially, I got to a place where I was just like, F it. F my coping skills. I am too tired. I am mentally, physically, emotionally exhausted, and I'm just going to eat what I want to eat. It just got to the point where I didn't care to even use my coping skills. And I think a lot of that was because, I mean, I haven't really been very motivated for a while now, but... I think my dedication to my weight loss goals hit an all time low. Like I, honestly, I could have gone through all of my weight loss goals and I would have been like, don't care, don't care, don't care. Yeah, don't care at all. I have just been like so stressed out lately. Um, and I don't want you guys to think that it's YouTube because if I had to do a responsibility pie chart, like YouTube would be like a sliver, like maybe five to 10% max. And work would probably be like 75 to 80% of that responsibility pie chart. Like it would take up the bulk of it. Um, there's just things going on at work that are, I mean, they're just super stressful. Things going on with my clients, things going on with the agency, things going on with staff coming and going and caseloads doubling. And <sighs> it's just... It's a lot. And then, you know, to top it all off, last week I was the crisis clinician on call and I got crisis calls every single night. And they were all pretty intense because sometimes we get crisis calls that aren't actually crisis calls. It's more like the caregiver being like, here's what happened, here's what I did, I just wanted to let you guys know. But all of my crisis calls this week were pretty intense. Um, but I also had one earlier in the week that was more intense than the others. Like it was super scary and super stressful and I could not sleep at all that night because I was scared to death that I was going to miss a phone call in the middle of the night. Um, so there was that stress on top of all of the other work stress. And then also I didn't sleep hardly at all this week because I couldn't take the melatonin or at least I was too terrified to take the melatonin because I was scared that if I did that I would sleep through a crisis call because sometimes we do get calls at like 12, 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning. Um, so I was just too worried that if I did that, that I would sleep through it. Um, so my sleep was really bad again. But then again, like the week or two before this week when I was taking the melatonin, I was only taking like one to two grams and waking up the next day like super, super groggy, like having to go into my bathroom and wash my face with cold water every like 30 minutes groggy. Yeah, it's been rough. And then just everything else going on, I'm still retaining water. I'm still like super physically uncomfortable because it like my knees and my ankles ache and now my breasts are like super tender 
um, which could be the water retention, but it could also be the fact that I've now been on this period for over six weeks. <laughs> so it could be more like hormone related. Um, by the way, just just don't Google anything ever that has to do with symptoms because you do when it's like, yes, you have breast cancer, congratulations. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> calm down, Laura. <laughs> you don't have breast cancer. And then also, like I said, because I just, the last couple of weeks, I have not been exercising as much. So I haven't been getting like that and like endorphin rush, right? And, um, the benefits of regular exercise. So it's just like all of these things just kind of compounded on top of each other until I literally got to the point where I have just been like, F it, <laughs> just F it all. And I binged. And one of the times I binged, it was, it was pretty epic. I, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. Like, I guess it's one of those moments where it's either you laugh or you cry, like take your pick. And I'm, I'm gonna laugh because I'm gonna move through this. You know, it's okay. Okay, I mean, it's not okay in the sense that I'm like excusing the behavior, but it's okay in the sense that I'll make it through this. So the other night I sat down and I wrote out an entire list of all of the things that have been demanding my time and my energy and that I have been stressing out about and then went through those things and figured out what do I have control over, what do I not have control over and making some adjustments to kind of lighten my load a little bit um, to relieve just even a little bit of that stress. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I wish that I could cut back on my steroid inhalers that are like really impacting and causing like me all of the water retention. But even with the higher dose, I have been wheezing a little bit. So I just, I don't feel comfortable backing off right now. I'm hoping within like the next month or so I'll be able to, but right now I just can't. It's unfortunate, but that's what this time of the year does to my lungs. But one of the things that I did decide to do was kind of look at everything that I've been doing with YouTube and cutting back on that a little bit. Um, so a lot of you probably read the community post that I put out, but I will not be doing any of the daily evening live streams that we've been doing for the Deck the Pounds workout challenge. Um, I mean, I, I wanted to finish out the challenge, but my knees have been hurting just a little bit more lately. And part of it, I was like, maybe it's because of the squats. I don't know. I know it's also partly because of the water retention because I can feel like that I'm super swollen in my knees. Um, but I just decided, I was like, no, I just, I need to stop right now. Especially because the daily live streams had been causing a little bit of stress. Um, I don't want you guys to feel like it's those of you who were getting on the live stream, like that you guys were stressing me out. It was more so trying to like plan my evenings around the live stream and feeling guilty when I couldn't get on because of personal or work obligations um, or having to like change up the time all the time uh, in order to accommodate my schedule and the things that I wanted to do. And then there were also just nights where I have just been feeling like, again, just like super mentally and emotionally and physically drained and I was starting to like dread getting on and doing the workout videos or the workout live streams. Um, and it was really hard to like put on that smile and be like, hey, you guys. <laughs> uh, yeah. And then I also thought that it would be really good because it would free up my evenings a little bit for some actual self-care because for like the past however many months, my evenings have been get off work, do like my walk away the pounds, like cardio workout for at least a half hour make dinner, eat dinner, get on for the live stream. And then after the live stream, um, doing something for YouTube, like editing, making thumbnails, whatever, and or <laughs> uh, catching up on documentation for work. So I have been having like no time in the evenings just to like relax and decompress. And so at least for the time being, like putting a halt to the live stream should give me at least an hour to two hours in the evening where I can just chill and read or watch some K-dramas or a movie or write or, you know, anything like that. So I kind of felt like 
choosing to halt the live streams rather than other things that I've been doing for YouTube would kind of have that double benefit of um, relieving some of the stress that I've been feeling as well as freeing up some time for some self-care. So where do I go from here? Um, I probably am not going to talk about my plan like moving forward to kind of like reset after this setback that I've been having because I actually talked about it in one of my vlogs that will go up either Tuesday or Wednesday and so I'll just save that for there um, but I did sit down I did like really like analyze what has been happening and how I got to this place and trying to be proactive for the future um, and trying to come up with a plan for how to, you know, steer my ship back in the right direction. And I'm really hopeful that, again, this is just going to kind of be just a brief setback that I will be able to work through pretty quickly. Um, I'm going to do my best and I'm going to keep you guys updated on how I'm doing in my vlogs and videos and make sure that I'm, you know, being very transparent with you guys. To be honest with you, I feel okay. Like, I feel like I'm not beating myself up about it. And I feel like, again, like I'm going to be able to move through this. And I feel really confident in that fact. Like, is it going to be perfect? No. Um, is it going to be a struggle? Absolutely. <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm going to be okay. And I just want to thank you guys for all of the love and support. Like you guys, the warrior community is hands down. Like, I don't know, maybe I'm just biased, but I think that you guys are amazing and probably the best community on YouTube. But again, I'm, I'm probably biased. Um, you guys are just so supportive and loving and understanding. And I just really, really appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you guys so, so much. Your, your support means the world to me. And I'm going to be okay. I want you all to leave this video at the end knowing that I am going to be okay. I am going to get back on track and I am going to keep going with my weight loss journey. I have said this a million times, but weight loss journeys, just like recovery from any illness or addiction is not linear, right? You're going to have ups and downs. You're going to go five steps forward, 10 steps back. Like that's, that's just the nature of the game that we're playing, right? Um, and this was just one of those 10 steps back. Felt like 20 steps back, but you know. Um, but I'm still, I'm still recovering and I'm okay. So I don't really... <laughs> I know I usually do the non-skill victories, um, but I don't feel like I have that many to share. I f uh. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to share a few. And I think number one being that, again, like I said earlier, I'm not beating myself up about the past couple weeks and falling off track with my exercise and eating or even binging. Like, I've kind of like, been practicing some radical acceptance, which again is definitely a video that I need to do. Um, and I just feel really confident in the fact that I'm going to get back on track. And for me, compared to weight loss journeys in the past, like that's like a complete 180. Non-skill victory number two is that I really analyzed all of the things that have been stressing me out and looking at what I can control and setting some boundaries. One of those boundaries was putting a halt to the daily live streams at night um, in order to help me get back on track and lighten up my load a little bit. And again, <laughs> in the past probably would not have happened. I am one of those people that I believe in challenging myself. You know, I was always taught my entire life to give 110% in everything that I do. Um, but sometimes, on occasion, <laughs> it's more like 210% and I challenge myself too much and become so overwhelmed and stressed out that I give up on everything. 
And I don't wanna to get to the point where I give up on everything, which again is why I'm taking a little bit of a step back and lighten my load a little bit. I think non-skill victory number three is that I'm actually smiling a little bit right now. Um, again, I felt like this past couple weeks, the past like month or so, I just haven't felt as happy or excited because again, it was like just everything was just compounding one on top of the other. And I've just been feeling completely and utterly overwhelmed. And while I am still feeling completely and utterly overwhelmed, I feel like I have a plan and a direction and that uh, things have like lightened up a little bit. Um, and be, just because of that, just because I feel like I'm headed in the right direction, like that's helped me get a little bit of that excitement back. And I'm hoping that that excitement will continue to come back. Um, I was actually, I was watching some of my videos from like, um, like September and October versus like my videos right now. And I was like, damn, like I was so excited. Like I could see it in my face. <laughs> But the last couple of weeks, like the videos, um, I don't know. I just look, oh, well, okay. I look super worn out and exhausted and stressed. Um, but I just didn't feel like my smile really reached my eyes. Um, yeah, my smiles just seemed a little bit fake <laughs> and forced. And I don't like that. Like, I like to feel and be genuine. Um, and I want to be excited again. And I think I'm going to be. I think that that excitement is going to come back little bit by little bit as I kind of get back on track, get back on course, and relieve a little bit of this stress. I'm going to be okay. I am 100% confident in that fact. All right, guys. So that is it for weigh-in slash check-in number 14. I believe. Um, comment down below and let me know what your guys' non-scale victories have been for this week. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and for all of your support and understanding. And if you enjoyed this video, let me know by subscribing and giving it two thumbs way, way up. And make sure to tap on that notification bell so you can join me next time. Bye, everyone.